uh, we did hear from uh, Senator Hooker who went down to appropriations that they did approve our work and the they, they kept the funding in there, Senator Hooker? They did. They did. They did keep the funding in there uh, and approved it unanimously. Um, so now we are looking at it to amend S-16. And if uh, Mr. Demaray wants to would be so kind as to take us uh, just through that amendment. Sure, of course. Um, you should have this posted, I believe. Yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, first to note that this is an amendment not by the committee because you no longer, no longer have jurisdiction. This is an amendment by individual senators. At this point, it's uh, Senator, Senators Campion, Ballant, Hardy, and Hooker. Um, and as we talked about, it amends the um, powers and duties to include the various subcategories that were recommended by the ACLU. Uh, and the only change to this draft from the last one you saw is, um, oh God, I'm on page numbers again. It's going to be on page three. Um, uh, Mr. Demery, can you just tell me, just so I'm, I'm certain, what draft number is this? Uh, it's draft 2.1. <clears throat> Thank you. So in F, we have some new language um, uh, regarding social determinants. Yes. So F, F now reads, recommend changes to the types of data, data collected in the data collection processes regarding suspensions and expulsions as necessary for the collection of all appropriate data related to school discipline and common, including recommendations on the type of data collected in data collection processes to reflect the contribution of social determinant, determinants to instances of suspensions and expulsions. I thought that was a, an excellent addition from Senator Lyons. Senator Lyons, did you want to say anything or add anything? Senator Perslick, did you? I see you're unmuted. No, that, that looks good. Um, it, this isn't going to be an easy thing for anybody to do. And, and as it goes forward, there may be criticisms of that, but I think it's important to raise it right now. Mm -hmm. Oh move to approve the amendment? Are we improving or endorsing the amendment? Oh, either way, I, I do that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, and motion was made by Senator Chitton to uh, approve uh, draft 2.1 of uh, the amendment. Do I see any discussion? Senator Perslick. I guess I'm just unclear on the committee's role of this amendment. So, so you would say the amendment is from these certain senators, but then the committee voted blankety blank in support of the amendment? That's correct. So, uh, and please, I'm looking to anybody who feels free to correct me if uh, this would be treated in a similar way to if a senator outside uh, came in and presented an amendment. Um, uh, and please know I am in no way uh, if anybody wants to add their name, as I've said all along, please feel free to do so. Um, and uh, that would, and then we, we will also take a committee vote. Uh, correct me if I have this wrong. I'm looking to other senators and Mr. Demaray in terms of process. Uh, Senator Hooker would get up on the floor and say, uh, the amendment the bill has been moved by Senator Campion and others. Uh, explain the amendment and the amendment came before Senate education and the vote was this and we ask for your support. Right, yeah, that's it because it hasn't been up on the floor yet. So nobody knows what was in the original amendment. It's up to the, it's up to the original sponsors if they uh, concur with our proposals. Yeah. They wanna go forward with it. I mean, otherwise it, we could, we can do it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Senator Hooker. Okay, so I guess procedurally, Wait. the amendment will be printed. The amendment, we'll discuss the amendment. I know Senator Lyons, you know, you discussed the bill and the amendment together. Is that what the procedure would be to be able to discuss the the underlying bill and the amendment? Or is um, else? that's up to the sponsors of the amendment, how, how it's handled, because it's not a committee amendment we've just offered our suggestions 
That's an excellent point. So I guess I would get up as the lead sponsor on the amendment, explain the amendment. I would then say, uh, sit down. And then Senator Hooker would get up and say, the committee has reviewed the amendment by Senator Campion and others, and on a vote of blah, 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 have approved the amendment. Okay. Um, and then we can work with uh, Secretary Bloomer. It sounds like this will be up on Wednesday uh, on the floor, so we can work with him around um, just making sure that we have that you know that process down. Okay. Does that feel comfortable to you, Senator Hooker? Oh yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so any other discussion? Seeing none, a uh, motion has been made by Senator Chittenden to uh, move draft 2.1 of the amendment to F F16 as proposed by Senator Campion and others. Uh, Senator Perslick, would you please take the roll? Yes, Senator Chittenden. Aye. Senator Hooker. Yes. Senator Lyons. Yes, yes. Senator Perchlick votes aye, yes. And Senator Tarantini. Aye. And Senator Campion. Is that a yes? You are muted. Yes. yes. Okay. Six zero zero. And uh, thank you. And I will uh, present the amendment and then we will um, go from there. Yes, yeah, Senator Perslick, please. Process question. Do we do the same thing with that vote as we do if we that we would do with a bill, like have the record of action and all that? Or it's just something we say on the floor? It's a great question. Uh, it would be a record of action. Will be uh, The amendment will be in the calendar and it will have the vote in the calendar. But do we have to do the like email chain of the record of action with Jeannie and all that? Uh, for it to get in the calendar? Is no, just to do it. Well, like, are we still required to do those emails? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Terrific. Uh, last thing, um, Mr. Demaray, if you wouldn't mind, um, Thanks for all your work so far. Uh, and if you would be so kind as just to pull up the language for us to have a look at uh, we know that $4 million has been put into the expedited budget. Uh, I'm losing my notes here. I'm, and excuse me again, I'm in the process of trying to post that document. It'll take me a couple of minutes. Okay. I, I can share it if you want. Uh, that'd be great if you would share it. Okay, yeah. And this is a reminder that this is the $4 million that uh, has been put in the expedited budget for the after school for all grants program mm -hmm. to provide grants for children to attend summer and after school programs. And uh, the appropriations committee would like us to uh, get them some language uh, that would help with the direction of some of these with, with these dollars. So that is what we are looking at. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here it is. Uh, <clears throat> a bit bigger. Okay, so for the record, uh, Jim Damore, let's console. We're looking at uh, draft language on the Summer Connection Grants and Summer Partnership Expansion Grants. So there are two main sections here. Uh, one is to, to provide grant funding to existing um, summer programs, and that's the Summer Connection Grants. And then the other is to provide grant funding to programs that are starting up, and that's the Summer Partnership Expansion Grants. So subsection A um, creates the Summer Connection Grants Program to be administered by AOE, um, and the uh, agency will be awarding that grant funding to existing after-school and summer programs. 
the Me Too requirement in subsection C, uh, which we'll come to. Um, and the use of that funding will be to collaborate with schools to support uh, learning, uh, behavioral we're, health uh, needs, Jim, Jim, and parent and family involved. Uh, sorry, Jim, yes. uh, we're losing you a little bit. You're losing me. Yep, yep, huh. yep. thanks. Sorry. No problem. Can, can you hear me now? Perfectly. Okay. Um, okay, so use of this funding um, is uh, for the recipients to collaborate with schools to support, support uh, learning, behavioral health needs, and parent and family involvement of vulnerable student populations and may use this funding for related transportation, staffing, supplies, enrichment activities, and professional development. The, uh, each grant uh, would be in the amount of $10,000. Uh, and the agency would award grants up to 150 uh, existing after school and summer programs. Then the, we have the Summer Partnership Expansion Grants in subsection B, and uh, that is, again, created here with the agency uh, administering this program. And this grant funding would assist a school, nonprofit organization, town, town rec center, or licensed child care center, uh, closely partnering with a school in starting a summer program. Um, and communities that currently do not have 21C funding or established low cost summer program, and they will meet the requirements of subsection C. Um, the use of the funds is exactly as was the use of the funds for the first program, so I won't repeat it. Um, and then um, the amount of these grants would be $50,000 each uh, for 50 new summer programs. And the requirements for both um, the programs is that the recipients shall be a school, nonprofit organization, town rec center, or licensed child care center, closely partnered with a school, offering program at low, low or no cost to parents and families, operate for a minimum of five weeks for a full day, uh, and um, uh, for five weeks per week, five days per week. Uh, we have to provide healthy snacks and meals, integrate social and emotional learning and science, technology, engineering, and math programming, and include outdoor activities and enrichment. And then finally, the recipients uh, of the funding are encouraged to use qualified instructors to provide at least two hours per day of math and the instruction. And that's it. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just um, pulling this up, make sure I have the right one. Okay, so I thought, okay, uh, questions or comments? I thought I had uh, sent along, and I may not have, um, some comments relating to, um, well, that's fine. Let's, let's take a look at this. This is uh, where we're at, draft 1.1. I don't think we need to, to pull any real triggers today. I'm just trying to get impressions. This is not new language to us. We, you know, we have gone through this uh, a little bit. In fact, I believe it would, might have even been in one of our, Jim, correct me if I'm wrong, in one of the drafts of the letter that we sent to approach, and we were asked just to pull it out. Um, I think that the only you and I saw that. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, would uh, senators like to, to take a look at this over the weekend? Um, and hear from a couple of folks. Uh, 
Senator Perch, like you've been in the thick of this kind of work. Well, I'm just, yeah, this, but I'm unfamiliar with the kind of process of this type of, of language. Because this would be language for the budget bill, right? Or for the small budget. Uh, that is correct. Um, it would be language uh, for the budget. For the little mini budget they're doing right now. It, it's correct. the fast track, right? It's the fast track budget. Uh, yeah, so, so the language is great because it it's all prepared for approach to stick into the bill. And it's pr probably if you put a little memo with it saying that the committee has looked at this and supports it. Um, and this is our recommendation for the fast track bill or one of our recommendations, because I think we might have two, but. Yeah, I no, I think you're, you're at, I think that's the way to go Center Alliance. The only I thing, that, uh, no, I think you're, you're, you're right on. I just remember having some language from Dr. Morehouse uh, at one point yeah. that talked about some other things. And Jim, I, do you remember that? Yeah, well, that was, those were the, the findings. She sent okay. over a huge list of findings right. that actually weren't, I wasn't able to just drop in. Sure. They were like, so I went back I think, to you at that point and just asked you what you wanted to do and we held off on that for now. Okay. So I think it's uh, maybe somewhere in, in that realm. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't think we need findings per se. I just thought that maybe there were some other uh, things. Senator Hooker? I, I thought I remembered some talk about um, how expeditiously this was going to be distributed. And, you know, is the agency going to be able to get this money out the door quickly? Although I believe the secretary talked about um, applications being taken. I mean, I, you know, is there someplace else that the money can go directly to, you know, the after school programs or to the summer programs in particular, since that's coming up quickly? But maybe I'm misremembering. No, uh, so uh, a couple of things. Senator, uh, Secretary French did come in when we were working on this on the letter as well and supported that as uh, and was working with us a little bit. Senator Perchlick? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't looking closely at the language because I thought I knew what it said, but this does not seem to be the language that I thought it was. It, it, yeah, let me see. This is the older, this is the version that we received, I think, from the Agency of Education. Because the, the, the stuff that I had seen talked about the After School for All grant program. Yeah. I think, didn't we hear from uh, Holly Morehouse yesterday and have some of her edits? Are they on our webpage? That's what I thought. I thought uh, yesterday. Yeah, this is an older version. Let's just look at that. Let's see. Aha, I have a uh, graphic education bill uh, with, um, yes, mine says, and this is why, uh, because I remember talking with Senator Lyons in committee a little bit about this. I do have something that is edited, but it says the Summer Connection Grants Program is created and shall be administered by the Department of, for Children and Families in the Agency of Human Services. That's what mine has. Right, that's the one we want. Yeah, that's the one we want. It is right there. It's on. It's yesterday's um, yesterday's uh, thing page. Oh, so under under Holly Marner. Yes, I think. I, I, yes. Yep, yeah, it's under Holly, and it's got all of the new language uh, bold and underlined. Yeah. I, hadn't seen, I hadn't seen that, but I can, I can update this for next week. Um, if senators have it in front of them uh, from, the, from our website, uh, it, it would be great. And I guess, Senator Lyons, I don't mean to put you on the spot with this, but Department for Children's and Families and the Agency of Human Services, that is your realm uh, and uh, something you know a lot more about. And I don't want to do anything with that group until 
uh, you feel like uh, we should. So, so here's what here's my suggestion on this, yeah. um, because I'm 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 fully supportive of it, uh, and now and I've got two of my committee members here, but I think what might be helpful is on Tuesday morning, we are looking at H315, which is the little fast track bill. And um, so why don't, uh, Cheryl, why don't you help me remember and, and Josh, uh, send this along, we'll send it along to Nellie and I'll put it up uh, uh, for our review. Uh, I don't, we don't, I don't think we need to Call anyone in to testify on it. Uh, it fits. Senator Lund, if you were willing to do that, I would what? be so grateful for you. Oh, to, good. Because it's also you're a morning committee. We could work to get it to Senator uh, Kitchell in the afternoon. Um, well, at the same time, you know, you have uh, Senators Hooker and Terenzini in the committee, and then Senators Perchlick and Chittenden and I can take a look at it over the weekend and see if we have any real concerns, but. Uh, your willingness to do that um, would be um, incredible. I just hope we have time uh, because, you know, uh, we're on the floor Tuesday morning and it's going to be an overwhelming deluge of bills. Maybe True. not. It'll be mostly notice. We've got, I think there were two or two bills or th three bills left. Yeah. We, we can do it. We'll do it. If Senator White's back. There's her two bills. That's yeah, right. she's got two bills. Uh, I'm looking to Senators Perchlick and Chittenden. Would you be comfortable with that, given, again, it does direct the Department of Children and Families a, a yes. Okay, Senator Perchlick, please. Yeah, no, Can I, I ask? Yeah, Sorry. please, go ahead. Senator oh, Lund. I just wanted to ask Jim if uh, he thought, if he could get us a copy from Ledge Council rather than a copy from Holly Morehouse. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. update the language with this. Yes, and if you if you can do that, and then I I can, uh, you can, if you send it to um, Nellie Marvel. Well. She's my, my, my committee assistant. Oh, sure, yeah. And then um, I'm gonna send her a heads up that you're doing that and we'll have it on our Web page for Tuesday. That that way we're all looking at something that's um, you know legislatively done. Uh, you may want to make some some of your magic corrections to improve it. So. And I do want to just set the record straight. Uh, this was I must have uh, forgotten to send this to Mr. Demaray. So uh, it's uh, Mr. Demaray still has a perfect record for the record. Uh, <laughs> I'm hardly, not, hardly so. I'm moving in the <laughs> negatives, but Mr. Demaray is still <laughs> perfect. Uh, Senator Persley. Yeah, and I just want to confirm that, Jim, you would do that as a clean copy? Like you wouldn't have, the way Holly did it is like track changes, basically. No, no, I do a clean copy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm fine with the language. I, I've already seen it. Holly sent it to me. I think it is. Great changes, totally support it and totally support it coming from health and welfare. Yeah, I, I like it as well. I just, uh, given that it is health and welfare stuff, that's, uh, oh. I think it warrants that. Yes, Senator. Well, it, it, you know, our committee may want to support it too. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we could vote on that later. But um, I just want to say the reason to send it to DCF is in some like, DCF is better at it than AOE. It's just that's where the after school for all program, which currently exists and has the structure in place. So right. to make it quick, it made more sense to go through there because it's already set up. Thank you for that. No, it's 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 a good point. Um, okay, so we have a, a path forward. Uh, thank you, Senator Lyons and the other members of uh, Health and Welfare for taking this on. Um, and uh, Mr. Demaray, thank you. You're welcome. I think we, unless there are further questions, comments, uh, or concerns, I think we will uh, be adjourning. Wow. I can make my next meeting. You can make your next meeting. Uh, Thank you thanks so much, everybody. If you have any questions over the weekend, feel free to contact me. Anybody who needs assistance with any kind of floor reports or anything, just uh, let me know. Senator Chinden, I don't know when they're going to vote yours out. Uh, so we it, it might be on the floor uh, 
on uh, Wednesday as well. I'm feeling okay. good, so ready to go. Great. Senator Hopefully Perkins. both uh, Chinman's bills from his two committees will both land on the floor at the same day. We can hear. Oh, no. Oh, no. E-bikes. It's actually your bill, Senator Campion. We passed it today. You know, ah, so, uh, I'm reporting it unless <laughs> I toss it over to you. or. You got <laughs> <Yeah>. So <clears throat> will the reporters of the bills please check their emails? There's one from uh, John Bloomer um, that is of some timeliness. Great. Thank you. Should I go off? Yes, yeah, please, we have... Uh...